What's going on everyone? My name is Tenebris Infinite and welcome to the latest bit of news in regards to the Resistance update for Generation Zero on Xbox. Uh, it's not exactly good news, but on the other hand, it is part of the reason why I respect this team. So, let's read through this letter and let's talk about things. The letter reads, We messed up and we're on our way to fix it. Making the best possible game with our community has always been at the heart of everything we do. Over the past two years, the Generation Zero team has worked hard to improve the experience and make the world of Vostatorn more fun, engaging, and menacing. What we didn't do, however, is find the appropriate development approach that fits with the ambitions that we've set out for Generation Zero in 2021 while all of us work remotely. While our key goal was to release updates simultaneously across all platforms consistently and make the processes more streamlined, we accidentally achieved the opposite. We uncovered multiple previously unknown bugs and issues on the Xbox version and are working hard to fix them. All of you have been waiting and waiting and waiting for the Resistance update to come out on Xbox. It pains us to say that unfortunately you will have to wait a little while longer. We are working hard to finalize the update while being careful not to overwork the team. We don't crunch around here and the health and safety of our team members will always come first. With that said, we promise to be better. We've ramped up our resources and our goal is to release the Xbox, uh, the update on Xbox in November. We cannot thank you enough for your continued support and we are committed to doing everything we can to not let you down, the Generation Zero team. And I'm just going to kind of echo what I said in my comment to the Generation Zero team officially. Even if we are impatient, it doesn't come before the personal well-being of the developers and the team as a whole. It's a serious shame that 2021 went like this, that we've seen such a dry year in terms of updates, and that the Xbox community has suffered for the majority of the year here. But... On the other hand, it's not to the detriment of the team. One of the worst things that you always hear about is the ridiculous crunch methods that can happen in the video game industry and the way developers are treated like cattle instead of treated like human beings. And honestly, I the part of the reason why I really respect Systemic Reaction is because they have uh, this kind of woven into their ambition of not having a... Uh, crunch culture in their workplaces. So on that note, the Generation Zero update for Xbox is going to take a little while longer. It might come in November, but it might be even later than that. Who knows? It might take until the beginning of 2022 or beyond that. The main point is, is that I'm going to be here till the end. I'm not going to stress myself out about making Generation Zero content I have for the past while and kind of hit just like a burnout state. But, um, I'm not going anywhere. The moment Generation Zero comes back in full form, I will come back in full form with it. Uh, and until then, I've got a bunch of other projects along the way. Uh, if any of you dudes are stuck waiting on Generation Zero, there's a bunch of great games coming out throughout this fall season, uh, that you could definitely pick up, you know, like Far Cry and Deathloop and stuff like that. Um, and Generation Zero will be back at some point, and hopefully when it's back, it'll be back in full form. So, for now, thank you for watching. Hopefully this news has been informational to you, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace out, my dudes.